Hello everyone and welcome back to another tutorial video. Dusty here. Today we are going to be talking about how to set up and enable channel points on your Twitch channels. So basically channel points are a type of viewer reward. So in order to go ahead and get to them you need to be obviously an affiliate or a partner. And then what you need to do is log into your Twitch channel and then go to the upper right hand corner where you see your profile image. Just click on that and then right here where it says creator dashboard, click on creator dashboard. And then once you're under your creator dashboard, you want to go here over on the left hand side where these list of tools are and go to viewer rewards. Hit that drop down menu and the first one is going to be channel points. Go ahead and click on channel points. Now, this is the channel points dashboard here. First and foremost, make sure that this here is checked. Make sure that you have enabled channel points. As you can see, I have a check mark by mine. If yours is disabled, make sure you check it and it's over to the right. Make sure that channel points is enabled. Next, we have customize points display. Now, this is where you get to name and decide what your channel points will look like. Now, for the purposes of this tutorial, I've named my channel points cookies. And then I, on my display here, I have, uh, you know, the, the appropriate sized images. Now, this can be a little tricky and a little annoying at times, but you have to make sure that these icons are exactly these sizes. So you need 28 by 28, 56 by 56 and 112 by 112 and again the measurement is in pixels all I did is went into Photoshop as you can see here and then just went to file new and then when I created a new document here I made sure my measurement was in pixels and then I just made the width and the height exactly what it needed to be for each and every one of them so as you can see here Here's the one for 112, here's the one for 56, and here's the one for 28. So if we hop back over to Twitch now, you can see, you'll just click here and then upload that file. Make sure they all look the same here. This is going to be the icon that your channel points have to represent them. Now we can always reset to default by clicking this here. And the default option is just going to be this little purple bubble icon here. But if we refresh this here, it should go back to what I had set it to. And then if you go here, you can see exactly what it's going to look like for your viewers. As you can see, uh, at the bottom of your chat, uh, it's going to say cookies. It's going to show how many of these that they have. So if we go here to a popular streamer, Co Carnage, you can see in the lower right-hand corner that his channel points are called Good Vibes. I have 1,400 Good Vibes. You can see if I click on that, uh, introducing channel points, get started, you can see I can redeem these for different things like choose an emote, modify a single emote. So let's now hop back over to ours here and click the back button here and make sure that you save the changes once you've uploaded uh, the images here for the appropriate sizes as well as the points name and then go back here. The last thing here is to manage rewards and challenges. If we click this here, there is a whole suite of options that we have available to us. The first is the community challenges. This is like a big challenge that you want your entire community to try to reach. They can crowdfund by using their channel points. They can put, you know, pull them all together, pull them all together to unlock a community challenge. This can be, you know, you're shaving your head, you're dyeing your hair, whatever it may be, something big uh, here under community challenges. Now under custom rewards here, this is where you create your own custom rewards. Now the default rewards are right here. So you can see here, we have highlight my message, that's unlocked by 100 channel points, unlock a random sub emote, that's 320 channel points, uh, send a message in sub only mode, 350, and again, all of those cost and basically what they're called here, this can be changed by going to edit here. And then as you can see, uh, we can go here and change the background color of that. We can change the icon of that if we want to, uh, but the most important thing here would be the cost. Now, Twitch has something that's called smart cost. It basically auto adjusts the reward cost for the size of your community. So as your community grows, these costs will increase if you have smart cost turned on. So as you can see here, I can turn that off and then I can set my own cost by going in here and setting my own cost. But if I go here and turn smart cost on, Twitch will go ahead and automatically set those costs for me dependent on how large my audience is. And if we go back here to default rewards, we can go to manage smart cost. And as you can see, we can go here and turn it off or on for each individual reward. So if we go here to visit the collection under custom rewards, you can see here that they have a whole bunch of custom rewards set up within Twitch that you don't have to do anything for. 
So uh, hero request, uh, drop it, make my make me drop my weapon. There's all kinds of different things like hydrate. You know, you can add that reward here. And then if we go back, you can see now that hydrate is going to be a reward on my channel. So now when I go live, as you can see back over here on the streamers page here, all of these will be in my chat here. And instead of, you know, good vibes, as opposed to what Co Carnage has, it would be cookies, you know, which would be my channel points or whatever you named and whatever image you gave to your channel points. Hopefully this was helpful. If it was, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.